Nola, what you got here at Parents' Poe Boys? Good stuff in here, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. Where can you get the best Poe Boy in New Orleans? In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, we're in the New Orleans suburb of Jefferson, Louisiana, at Parenton's Po Boys on a travel search for big burgers, fried chicken, and Poe Boy options in New Orleans. Parenton's Po Boys is located in Jefferson, Louisiana, at 4304 Ellen Street, which is about 20 minutes and nine miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. The New Orleans area has a lot of great fried chicken, po' boy, and burger joints, so join us to learn what makes a great po' boy, flavorful fried chicken, and amazing cheeseburgers as we explore which New Orleans restaurants serve the best po' boys, chicken, and burgers in the area. Parentons has been making great food since 1946, so they have decades of experience in making New Orleans food. Straight ahead is Central Avenue, where Central Po' Boys is located. So if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll have a link to that at the end of this video. Parentons does have a few parking spots for this restaurant, but often they fill up fast so you end up having to park in the neighborhood streets here. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. And you can see it's definitely a classic old dive joint in here with all kinds of great memorabilia from the many years they've been operating. So they've got a lot of great stuff to come in and check out. A lot of people call their order in and get it to go. Other people come and eat in here. So it just depends on the day and what's going on. So there's certainly a lot of great New Orleans history on the walls here. You should certainly check out. And when you're ready to order, you just come right up here to the order counter unless you called ahead. So they certainly have a lot of specials on offer every day. And let's go ahead and check out the menu now. So we have Po' Boys, all come dressed with mayo, shredded lettuce, tomato, and pickle. They come in 6 inch and 12 inch. We have a ham, a roast beef, a hamburger, meatball, turkey, hotter spoke sausage, Italian sausage, grilled or fried chicken, tuna chicken salad, french fry, BLT, wider wheat, and add cheese. Add 70 cents for grilled raw onions, add a dollar for large bun. Seafood Po' Boys. We have catfish, shrimp, oyster, shrimp and catfish, shrimp and oyster, tartar, cocktail, remoulade sauce, 40 cents, specialties, triple decker club, lighter wheat, the teddy, ham, roast beef and Swiss, the gramps, grilled Italian sausage, peppers, onions, provo and mozzarella, the classic muffaletta, and allow 20 minutes to prepare. Then we have seafood baskets served with fries, French bread and cocktail remoulade or homemade tartar sauce. We have catfish, shrimp and oyster. Salad, side salad, Caesar, add chicken $3, Trump $5, oysters $8, double delight, Rider Girl chicken, Rider Girl shrimp, chef salad, balsamic vinegar and olive oil, blue cheese, Caesar, honey mustard, Italian ranch, arugulade, extra dressing at 40 cents, sides, homemade onion rings, small or large, small fries, large fries, fried green tomatoes, boudin balls, cheese fries, sweet potato fries, potato salad, chips, Combo specials, served with fries and a fountain drink. You can get a roast beef, hot sauces and cheese, hamburger or catfish, and the chicken snack. On the other side of the menu, we have Parenton's Daily Hot Lunch Specials. On Monday, we have red beans and rice served with smoked sausage, hot sausage, or two pieces of catfish and French bread. Substitute boneless breaded pork chop, boneless breaded pork chop po' boy, the light lunch, two grilled or fried pork chops and salad, Tuesday, a half-fried chicken dinner, breast, thigh, leg, and wing, two-piece white dinner, two-piece dark dinner, served with mashed potatoes and corn. Wednesday, spaghetti and meatballs, Italian sausage, chicken parmesan over pasta with salad and garlic bread, meatball or chicken parmesan po' boy, served on toasted garlic bread with melted mozzarella. Thursday, chicken fried steak dinner, served with homemade macaroni and cheese and smothered green beans. Chicken fried steak po' boy. Friday, catfish platter, shrimp platter, oyster platter, super seafood platter, served with fries, homemade coleslaw, and French bread. And hamburger steak with grilled onions, fries, and green salad available every day. So I got a 12 inch shrimp and oyster po' boy. And I don't know anywhere else in New Orleans that has their po' boy price this low for shrimp and oysters. Now some places do half of one side with shrimp, half with oysters, other places mix it up. Here at Parentons, they do one side oyster, one side shrimp. And uh, either way is pretty good with me. I like it both ways. So I've also got a little cheese on here. 
help glue things together, but there's still quite a lot of third mill stuff falling off that'll certainly give me something to snack on later. Like, ooh, look at this lovely oyster here. Oh, yeah. So it's so wonderful to be able to dig in and enjoy a big, huge po' boy like this. And especially at the value price, as the cost of an oyster po' boy is way higher at most other places. And even the shrimp po' boys are way higher at most other places. So this is definitely one of the best deals in town that I know about. If you're in the mood for a nice, big, old school oyster and shrimp po' boy. So two thumbs up for this thing, as it really is a satisfying meal at a great price. I'm so happy that Parentons is still putting out good deals like they always have. I actually uh, have been here in the past, but it's been like before Hurricane Katrina, I think was the last time I went to this place. I kind of forgot about it. So uh, yeah, a few decades uh, of forgetting about it, unfortunately. And I'm glad that I'm making a return visit after all that time, because I certainly will be visiting more often for the great prices they still have in here. So if you're on a budget, this place can certainly help give you a lot of great food for a much cheaper price than many other places these days. So I do believe they own the building, which helps offset a lot of the ever-increasing rental rates a lot of other businesses have to pay. So that really is a cost saving they pass on to the customers, and it definitely is appreciated. This is certainly a very generously sized po' boy, and they certainly take no shortcuts to doing anything under a fully overstuffed po' boy here. They really put a bunch of seafood inside of the bread here. So your po' boy is definitely not going to leave you hungry here at all. I probably would have been able to be satisfied with just half of this, but for the sake of ethnographic accuracy and documenting this wonderful po' boy place, I will certainly sacrifice and eat the whole po' boy for all of you out there so you can enjoy the experience as you watch it along with me to see what's possible here as they really do make a fantastic po' boy here at a fantastic price. And uh, I certainly would suggest you watch my po' boy video for Central Po' Boys to compare the price of what I had there to the po' boy here as whoa quite a big difference in the price there. For two po' boy joints that are so close together, that really is a big difference in what you get overall. So different environment certainly, but that leads to a very different uh, charge in the end for what you want to pay. So it's always great to have choices. It's also great to have third meal here with all of this stuff that's fallen out. I think I got a lot more of the shrimp that escaped. I didn't let too many of those oysters escape. Still good to have this last little snack to polish off a fantastic meal. And honestly, I almost considered wrapping this up and taking it home for a snack later because I am very full and I'm having to uh, really dig down deep to fit these last little bites in because they certainly have quite fluffy, delicious bread that helps fill you up along with all of that seafood on top of it. So you're not leaving here hungry if you eat the whole po' boy. This is definitely going to be something that will keep you fueled with energy throughout the day. I don't think I'll be able to eat later tonight for a while, if anything. All right, finally, here's the one oyster I have to feast on. And ooh, yeah, these oysters are so delicious. So now, just like I totally destroyed this po' boy, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this half and half seafood po' boy and oyster and shrimp. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account. I do it for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So the total for my po' boy and a drink was $20.74 before tip. So I've only had po' boys here before, so now we're going off into unknown territory with a cheeseburger here. Oh, oh, oh all right. So it does look like a pretty decent cheeseburger and uh, the meat is not the thickest, but it's not the skinniest. So let's see. All right, there's some decent flavors here. This is a pretty decent cheeseburger overall. Definitely better than your standard McDonald's or Burger King by any measure. And they certainly have put some good stuff together here with the meat bun ratio. This is quite a very substantial bun. 
I'm not having any sort of slipping and sliding going on. The meat bun ratio is staying pretty darn perfect. And uh, overall flavor is good. It's uh, not as juicy as I like, but it still is juicy. So it's not dry inside. It's very easy to eat. There's really a whole lot of excellent structural cohesion going on here. And it's just a very easy burger to eat. It's not a lot of work. I can literally just use two fingers to keep it together. I'm not having to really clamp down hard to keep everything from falling off of this. So they certainly have perfected their burger art of what they need to do. And all the way to the end, I have meat and bun in a perfect balance. So that, for whatever reason, is hard for places to do. Now, just like I totally destroyed this burger, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this burger. And while you're down there, make sure to check out links to my Patreon accounts. I do work for Tips. And the total for this was $13.96 with Tips. Next up, it's fried chicken day. And I've heard really good things about the fried chicken here. So, I had to get the four piece half chicken. So let's dig in and see how it's gonna be. So I'm gonna start off with the breast here. And we'll get a piece of this breast meat that's steaming, super duper hot. This is so hot here. Oh my goodness, and oh, oh yeah, this is burning my mouth. Uh, oh, I really had a hard time keeping that in my mouth, it's so hot. So I probably would suggest that you don't just jump in and start eating it like me, as I kind of really burned my mouth pretty badly. It should have taken a little more time, but I was very hungry. It smelled delicious, it looks delicious, and it is delicious. This is some fantastic, juicy, moist fried chicken. They have certainly perfected their frying art. So the crunchy crunch of the skin on the outside with all the spices and flavorings are really going along very great with everything else. And for the white meat at least, so far this has been a very flavorful, moist, juicy breast of chicken here. I've uh, had a very enjoyable time with each and every bite of it. I can't complain about anything other than maybe it could be a little more spicy, put a little more extra of that spice in there. I'll get this drumstick and a little of the dark meat perfectly cooked again as well. So they certainly have had good results with every piece of chicken in that four piece. And here's some of the mashed potatoes that are the side. And yeah, pretty decent mashed potatoes. I've had better, certainly. And here's the corn. Looks like it's out of a canned corn. And a basic, uh, simple size, nothing complicated. But overall, for the package and the price, fantastic value and really great chicken. So now, just like I've totally destroyed this fried chicken, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this fried chicken plate. While you're down there, make sure to check out links to my Patreon accounts on Doer for Tips. I appreciate any help with that. So the total before tip was $13.90. Next up, we've got the chicken fried steak, and it comes with mac and cheese and green beans. So let's give a little taste to chicken fried steak. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, it tastes fantastic, and the sides are decent too. So the total for my chicken fried steak and a drink was $19.60 before tip. So thanks so much to everybody at Parentons for some fantastic food. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. Would you kindly go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it? Then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolagent here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.